Hey guys, my name is Ben with Exceptional Glass, 888-83 Glass. Uh, today I am doing a service on an existing shower enclosure um, that apparently the door has sagged. So I'm making this quick little um, instructional video. <clears throat> well, not instructional because I hold no responsibility for what you do with your showers, but I can at least show you why your frameless shower doors may be sagging. So see the cutout here for the hinge itself? So it has little fail safes, meaning that if the hinge itself were to let go completely of your glasswork, it still wouldn't be able to allow the door to fall completely only because of these little spots right here. So that is a fail safe, meaning at least that way the door wouldn't fall off completely. But what most shower door guys and glass guys do, that's a mistake, is not filling the space in. So as you see, it's rubber gasket that holds everything in, in place and then of course the screws and it tightens around it. Over time those gaskets will start to shrink merely because of cold, heat and just natural uh, uh, compression from rubber. So the only way to, the one surefire way to eliminate a sagging door is by adding spacers in between the metal and the glasswork itself. And uh, I'm kind of working one-handed here so I'm gonna have to pause it and just put the spacers in and show you how that works. One second, I was just receiving a phone call. Um, so I'm gonna pause it right now and just show you uh, what it'll look like. All right, so I placed some clear shims in there, so I just wanna show you. Now again, I'm doing this one handed. I definitely don't recommend anyone doing this. That's not a professional period, but especially doing it alone. Um, I, I'm pretty well qualified to do it uh, by myself. But anyway, so what I've done is I've added the shims and as you see how it works, it's actually holding the space up and then I can honestly just let the let, it, let go of the door itself, just putting a finger here just to make sure it doesn't fall off the, the hinge itself. But as you see, no matter what, even if the hinges were to fail, meaning the screws or the gasket or anything like that, it still will not allow the door to sag within the hinge. So this is one key step that is usually missed from many, many um, glass installers. Um, so now what we do is take a flat razor blade, cut this flush, and then reattach the hinge. And that's it. Your sagging problems are officially over. All right. And if you need one of these, uh, please feel free to give me a call at 201-918-0547 or at the office 888-83-GLASS or visit our website at njglassdoors.com. Thank you.